We're out at the Agri Center. I have Wes Hopper, certified operist here. And Wes, we're going to stop the chop. Stop the chop. I like stop it. the chop. That's what Jason Reeves always says. Stop the chop. Yes. Can you show us the correct way to prune these crack murders? I'll do the best I can. It's, okay. uh, this looks like it's been a maintenance nightmare <laughs> in the past. So we're going to look at it like artistic maintenance okay. and try to prune this tree to where next year it won't require so much maintenance okay. and do it the proper way. So we'll start by being able to get to the tree. I use my hand pruners and I'll remove this these water sprouts right. that are going to poke me in the face as we're working. Okay. And also, since we're working, looking up most of the time, we'll throw our debris away so we don't trip over it while we're working. And there is a lot of old wounds on that here. If it hits me in the face, I'm cutting it first. <laughs> and also, on this tree, it has multiple stems. Notice I said tree. Tree. I did notice you These said. have been trimmed like a hedge. Wow, okay. Crepe murder, just chopped, however you want to yeah. categorize it. It's a tree. When we certify arboretums, crepe myrtles are allowed on the list. An arboretum is a place where you can visit to learn how to identify trees. All right. Now, I mentioned multiple stems. Put these in my back pocket. Now tell us what you mean by multiple stems. These are your stems right here. All right. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five stems on here. Okay. It's getting kind of crowded. You see how this is clustered up over here? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna eliminate this stem and try to eliminate some of the maintenance. Okay. And we're gonna cut it in the middle so we don't have any tears. Nice and slow. Put my hand saw back up. Nice clean cut. Nice clean cut. Look what I've done, I've opened it up. Wow. We may get this to look like a tree after all. <laughs> I usually like to stick with my pruners unless it's a large cut. Okay. I do have a set of loppers over there. But with this thin bark tree, sometimes your handsaw can actually scuff the bark. And we try to avoid that. Now look at me, I'm pruning on another stem that I feel like should not belong there. Ah, so that one's coming off too, right? So let's eliminate some more of the maintenance. We're not gonna have the perfect shape of the, of the, of the stems, but I'll come back later and cut those the rest of the way off. Okay. But now, you really opened that thing up. Now I've got it open. And you can tell that we're around grass. So that means lawnmowers. Yes, and weed eaters. And weed eaters. Yes. So I think they could probably use a little roundup at the base <laughs> to keep the grass from growing around, to keep the mowers away. But in this case, these the maintenance guys are gonna see these long stems that shoot out as an eye poker, in which they are. Yeah. We got a bird nest right here. Yeah, I saw that. I don't think there's anything in it, but anytime you have wildlife in the tree, come back to it. Let the, let the wildlife survive. And we're gonna eliminate all this epicormic growth. And what kind of growth is, is that? Epicormic growth yeah. is growth that grows secondary. Okay. It's usually loosely attached, breaks easily. Like water sprouts. Like water sprouts. Right. I'm not, I don't want to eliminate all these. I just want to eliminate the junk. How are you doing the job on it, man? <laughs> Is, does it look the same? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let's hope we achieve our goal. And I'm not just cutting sporadically. I'm, 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 I'm putting my eye on it. Okay. And if you're using the hand printers, definitely make sure that you keep your fingertips away. It's real wow. easy to get it in the, in the, caught up in the blades. And yours must be pretty sharp. And these are pretty sharp. If you notice, they have a longer handle mm -hmm. and it's, you get a, a better cut okay. with that. I'm going back a little bit past the growth collar, but okay. we're trying to prevent that succulent 
epicormic growth on water spouts from going crazy on it. See, like this is a nub right here. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. I like to get that a little bit cleaner because that's going to put out growth. Okay. It's going to go poof. Couple more of these. Step back and take a look at it. We got a broken one at the top. We're going to. Yeah, I see a couple. Of them. We're going to tend to. Let's get rid of this one. And Chris, you can see where they came in before, and they just went yeah, right straight the across the top yeah. and just completely eliminated the upper canopy. That's a lot of work. You can see the piles of what I have on the ground. Yeah. As far as the commercial companies go that, that tend to the crepe myrtles. Uh, I don't know if they get pay paid by the pound to dump the material or oh, or what, but if you can eliminate some of the material you have to take to the landfill, <laughs> then do it. Hey, right, well, don't give away their secrets now. They might be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me grab my pole pruner okay. here and let's work on these tips. Now, when, I'm, when I prune the upper outer canopy, I just want to remove these the, the, the old seed pods. Okay. I'm just reaching up to put some of these back. Now these, these are definitely going to put out growth when they come back out. Okay. And I, it's and I still, cuts on those. That's a real and I still may need to come back and take some more off. This one's broke, so yeah. let's cut it right there. And I'm not just randomly cutting. I'm trying to cut it at a node, which a node is yeah, a that. point of where your buds break. See that I'm taking some of these off completely. You see that I'm not taking off nearly as much as the canopy as before. I believe that one of the reasons why people commit crepe murder or <laughs> hacking it is because it's easier, and maybe it is easier on a crepe myrtle that's 40 feet tall. Right. But one thing about crepe myrtles, is most of the time they're planted in the wrong place right. and they have to be maintained like that right. because uh, otherwise it's just going to grow into the house under the gutter under the soffit and cause damage to your home so now what about our shoots down here at the bottom too we're going to eliminate those okay. i want to get rid of these two stubs right. using my handsaw again keep the blade away from you Oh, I think you've done this a time or two, man. A few times. Man. Well, you do a good job of that. Sure. No, thank you. There we go. Wow. That's like think... a whole different tree. Right. Yes. And now, look, I got very little debris in comparison to what we would have had had we yeah, just we'll taken see. it all the way off. Okay. And I think it looks much better. Yeah. I guess we do have these shoots down here too. Oh, yeah. Knock yeah. Those out for us and... yeah, these are the sucker sprouts. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to get these low as you can get them. Now, if those keep coming back, what's the best way to, uh, you know, get them to slow down or get them to not come back? You know, we get that question a lot. Just Personally, keep... from my experience, uh, when these sprout up during the summertime, cut them off then. Them off. It's not so apt to grow back. And so, if a part of the tree does not produce energy, uh, like the rest of it, it'll start slowing down and okay. eventually you hope for it to stop putting out like that. Okay. Good and these, if they're not cut down low enough, they're definitely going to grow back. Oh yes, I've seen that. And you can tell also by all these knots down here yes. that there's been a lot of this grow back. But this is how I feel like they should be pruned. All right, Wes, my friend. Thank you. Looks good, man. Thanks. Definitely appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you. We'll come back and see what it looks like later, huh? I will. I, I definitely want to see the results. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.